Over an hour's time, NASA hoped to launch a new rocket from Cape Canaveral in Florida that will circumnavigate the moon. Here is a live picture of the Artemis rocket waiting for the countdown. It will be NASA's first mission to the moon in 50 years. For more on this, we are joined by someone who spends a lot of time looking up, Josh Auraki from the Stardome Observatory. Hi there, Josh. Thanks very much for coming in tonight. Right, just mannequins on board the flight tonight, but still, how much of a big deal is this mission? Yeah, I mean, this is a really big deal for NASA. I think this is something that's kind of been in the works for decades at this point. And, um, yeah, it kind of really represents our first steps back to the moon, which is a huge deal in itself. You know, we've not been for decades at this point. We've been wanting to go for a really long time, and this mission is a test mission, so... So this really represents our first steps to return people eventually to the moon, um, and not just for short trips, but for long duration missions, which is yeah, really exciting. Because then talking about not just the few steps mm. as last time, but actually yeah. staying, living and learning, I think, uh, on the moon. How does that even work? Yeah, I mean, the, the way we look at kind of the moon and why we're actually going back to kind of live there sustainably is not because it's a nice place, but we're actually kind of testing technologies to go to Mars eventually. This is kind of a test bed, everything that we have to do to go to Mars, um, which is a really, really big journey. Uh, we have to perfect those things at the moon because you know at the moon it's a little bit closer if something goes wrong uh, we can essentially come home but you know when we go to Mars eventually with people um, we need to make sure that we have all of those, thing those things down um, and the moon's that test bed to get us there. So you've alluded to it it's been half a century since they were there last time why such the long wait and why now? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the big question. I always get asked, why have we not back, been back to the moon? And, the, you know, the answer is NASA's been wanting to go to the moon for a really long time. But, you know, it actually often just comes down to money. You know, NASA had a huge budget during the space race. Um, and it was for that reason. It was to, you know, beat the Soviet Union. They had a lot of different goals. And when they got to the moon, their goals shifted. They, you know, put money into the shuttle program, then eventually the space station. Um, but now that we kind of at a place where there is this new space race, um, we're not really looking just to the moon itself. It is that Mars goal that we're really looking at so um, there's also budgetary constraints and stuff and NASA has had to basically get really good on a budget essentially. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure your definition of budget, budgetary constraints and mine is the same because it's $150 billion yes, they yep. are spending to do this. That is a lot of money. Yeah, the argument, yep. of course, why don't we just spend that money or why they don't spend that money here just looking after, you know, good old planet Earth? Totally, and I, I get that all the time is why are we spending billions of dollars on, you know, to send people to the moon and space missions? But I think, you know, a bit of perspective is um, that price tag was, it's over a you know, pretty long period, several decades at this point. Um, NASA gets about $25 billion per year um, that's in a calendar year. And the same year, the United States, they spend about $800 billion on their military. So, you know, you can imagine if NASA had an $800 billion budget compared to 25, um, it's actually not a lot of money in the scheme of things. And I think the benefits that are coming from these, um, not just the technology, but I think, you know, we're, when we go into space, we're asking those larger-than-life questions, those philosophical, inherently human questions of where do we come from, what does this all mean? Um, and I honestly don't think you can put a price on that. <laughs> that's probably right. So you'll be watching with interest tonight. It's uh, a blast. I'll be off. rushing home after this to get to the live stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh well. Enjoy, and let's hope it all goes well. Thanks so much for those insights. Tonight. No worries. Lovely.